Hello everyone, Moshe, the electric Israeli in my Tesla Model Y, stuck in massive traffic. Last night, my wife and I, today is Tuesday, by the way. Last night, my wife and I uh, drove our Tesla Model Y, our new Tesla Model Y, the Juniper, 2026, from North New Jersey, where we live, to Manhattan to see Paul Simon. I haven't seen Paul Simon in maybe more than 20 years in a concert. 83 year old man and let me say this in I love Paul Simon and Garfunkel I saw Garfunkel not too long ago like maybe two three years ago uh, let me just say something if you love Paul Simon like I do he can sit and read a book and I'll enjoy but music wise it's really not embarrassing it's sad to see I mean the man barely can barely sing barely sing his voice is like like an old man was really clinging to glory. It, it was very sad to see him. Because, first of all, he sang songs that I've never heard. And the songs that everybody came to see, the performance was just awful. But we enjoyed, we had great time. But that's not the subject of this video. The subject of this video is the amazing accomplishment of Tesla, a robo taxi. And I don't need to fly all the way to Texas to take a robo taxi. I do it all the time with my. Um, the Model Y, the Juniper, takes me everywhere. And yesterday, we I'm showing you now, obviously. I made it a little faster. Uh, we crossed the George Washington Bridge, went down the West Side Highway, <clears throat> went to the Beacon Theater area. And, uh, and then around 11 p.m., we drove back, my wife and I, actually through the Lincoln Tunnel. So we went through... For, for, if you know New York, we went from the west side, uh, uh, George Washington Bridge, and then we came down the east side to Lincoln Tunnel. And this is New York City. This is not my little nice uh, suburb neighborhood where I live and it's all nice and easy. This is challenging. And the car is flawless. The only thing I can tell you, the only time I quote unquote intervene with the robot, with the, with, really with the FSD, is when I don't like the route. And I want to go a different way. That's when I like take over, go ways that I like to go better. And that's that's the only time I do it. And I did it at the end of the George Washington Bridge when the car wanted to go to the Deegan and I wanted to go to the West Side Highway. Okay, that's all. That's when, uh, that's when I really intervene. Other than that, I don't. Just, if you know, God forbid it's dangerous, then of course I will. But no, no need for me to intervene. So that's, that's the, the, the performance is so flawless, is so perfect that it's like jaw dropping. And what more jaw dropping that I got used to it already. Like this is, this is like unconscionable that, that cars can do this. And it's amazing. So now what, what's the ramification? The ramifications is very simple. I know that the, on Monday this week, Tesla stock went up by over 8% pre-market uh, like two percent and we'll see um, obviously it's going to be high and low people are going to buy and sell and make money and that's fine but in the in this space of ride sharing of autonomous ride sharing tesla is going to absolutely dismantle anybody who is going to be in this in this space and we're talking of course about way more zooks or whatever it is very simple it's a tesla model y it's a tesla model 3 it's a tesla cyber Cup. It is a Tesla. There's no need to put any extra equipment to any Tesla that Tesla is making now, selling now, United States or all over the world. It has to do with regulation and that's all. Once Tesla is uh, allowed to drive in this city, go ahead, that city, go ahead. So whatever it costs Tesla to make that car, that's it. That one and done, as, as we say. It's not like a... Waymo that has to buy a $60,000 uh, Jaguar i and put another $100,000 worth of equipment. Not only that it's ugly, but that you know what I'm talking about. So that's not the case. It is what it is what it is. And when the, the two-seater uh, cyber cab comes up in a cost of $20,000, that's what it is. Now, Tesla selling cars today. Let's let's be conservative. They make between five and seven thousand dollars profit per car. That's it. One and done. Now Tesla robo taxis. They make a thousand of them a day. 
that Tesla can unleash on cities all throughout the United States. The life expectancy of these Teslas, I would say at least a half a million miles. Okay, at least, or maybe a half a million kilometers. Well, like 300,000 miles or so. I think it's more. But Tesla's profit on those cars will not be five to seven thousand dollars will be about four hundred thousand dollars or even more and when people like me will be allowed to unleash their their cars into the fleet tesla can make i don't know i'm being so conservative maybe a hundred thousand dollars if those cars will be dedicated by the owners to be robo taxis because they will take 30 percent of the top okay so the potential of Tesla gaining a trillion dollars in market share, which basically translates to about $400 in the stock, more to the stock, which we basically will double the stock, is incredible because it is a Tesla car. That's all it is. It is now in South, uh, this, the, the part that Tesla is, uh, started the robot taxi in a uh, small part in Austin, like the South part, that's like the pilot, okay? The, there's a safety passenger from Tesla. We all saw the videos, there's a million videos about that and it's incredible. But once that getting through and, the, and there's no longer geofencing restrictions like Waymo's, they can, Tesla can drive anywhere. There's no problem. It can drive anywhere. Okay, it all has to do with regulation. So, so the implication to ride sharing but human like Uber Lyft or autonomous like uh, very restricted and very expensive uh, uh, a, a Waymo is going to be incredible. Now, okay, so motion, whatever. So what's the big deal? So you drive with this car versus that. What's the, here's what's the big deal. It's going to be probably at least 50% or more cheaper because there is no driver to pay. Unless it's somebody's car that is owned, that Tesla just take 30%, just like that. Or, and or, it is the Tesla car. I keep saying the same thing, it's a Tesla car. There's nothing, nothing in that car that needs to be added. Anywhere, any car that Tesla made this year, 2024, 2025, with hardware four, can technically be part of this fleet owned by Tesla or owned by anyone anywhere and it's gonna be so fast that within one year you're gonna see maybe a hundred thousand Teslas that part of the robot taxi fleet or even more it is gonna be so quickly and so swiftly and we didn't even talk about what the humanoid robot is going to do it is going to be a culture culture shaking and 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 game changing i know it's a big, a big cliche uh, uh of the car industry it's going to be incredibly transformative you mark my word i cannot wait for tesla to unleash the uh, 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 people's ability to people like me to add their cars to the to the fleet and i will do it in a heartbeat it's very interesting time. We live in very interesting times. Thank you guys for watching.